Hello everyone, thank you for being here today for the memorial for Michelle and to support the call to end feminicide and reform the extradition law. Um, before we start, we would like to acknowledge that Ottawa and the entire Kichisipi or Ottawa River watershed is Algonquin territory. This land was stolen by settlers and settlers gov settler governments in order to further the colonial project that is ongoing and now called Canada. This land must be returned to the Algonquin Nation and we are committed to helping with this decolonization. An, ind an independent public inquiry into the cases of Michelle, Dr. Hassan Diab, and numerous other individuals whose lives and families have been ruined by one of the most unfair processes in Canadian law. The terms of reference of any such inquiry must be developed in consultation with and be approved by those who have been subjected to the horrors of extradition. Legislative action to bring the Extradition Act in line with international and domestic human rights standards is also desperately needed. Imme second demand, immediate steps to develop and implement a United Nations mandated national action plan to end violence against women and girls. In February 2015, Women's Shelter Canada launched a, a blueprint for Canada's National Action Plan on Violence Against Women. As of today, there is still no such action plan. And the third demand is immediate action on the calls from the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls for the creation of a national plan to address violence against Indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit LGBTQI plus people. Step by step, the longest march can be won, can be won. Many stones can form an arch, singly none, singly none. And in union, what we will can be accomplished still. Drops of water turn a mill. Beautiful. Different colors rising high. 